All right, guys, I told you I'm going to be doing a lot more Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray reviews and that. And I really was actually thinking about not doing this, but I really wanted it because I just watched it again last night. And uh, it is Tenet on 4K. This is probably the best 4K transfer of 2020, in my opinion. But let's talk about Tenet for a little bit. But I also want to get something straight out there for you guys so you understand. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of, for in 2021, a lot of fucking 4K Blu-ray reviews. I'm going to be doing movie versus movie, too. I'm working on some segments, actually, to do right now. But also, I'm going to be doing movie reviews once movie new movies come out again. But I really want to start working on short films as well. So, like, I wanted to at least get two out by this uh, this year. So, we'll see what happens. But let's talk about Tenet, directed by Christopher Nolan, John David Washington stars, and Robert Pattinson and Kenneth Branagh. So, I'm not talking about the movie. You guys know my thoughts by now if you come watch me regular. But let's talk about this 4K transfer overall. So, we were shot in film, IMAX cameras. So, we know we're going to get the fucking aspect ratio of full screen for IMAX and we also know for some of the scenes um that were like the dialogue sequences they're not shot in IMAX they're actually shot in 70 millimeter I believe it's 70 millimeter or 75 millimeter so you actually get more of the picture than your standard 2.34 aspect ratio now if you saw my if you watch my Christopher Nolan collection I'll leave the link in the description I do talk about it briefly but we're really going to dive into why this film is really looks really good on 4k so if you guys know how 4K Blu-rays are like, compared to like a Blu-ray, you're getting obviously more of the image. It's not going to be as compressed as a Blu-ray. So I actually watched a Blu-ray of this, or I actually compared a couple scenes on my 4K TV. And overall, yeah, the 4K is a lot more stronger and you do get a lot more immersiveness out of the 4K on Tenet. I, like I was saying though, Tenet was filmed on actual film so it's going to make the movie actually a lot better looking when they compress it down to 4k now yeah I, as i was saying in my collateral 4k review that a lot of films that are shot on digital don't have a great um 4k transfer in the end i was misspoken because i realized yeah i i kind of eat my words a little bit on that because the thing is what what I really meant is films that were shot back in old, like in the thousand two thousands or the nineties that were shot with digital cameras, it's gonna be harder to remaster them in the four K. But like other films that are shot like in today's day, in compressed to four K or like rendered to four K, like uh, Avengers Endgame or Infinity War, yeah, those films are overall they're gonna look good and they do. But overall, you just know watching film like on a film, it's just gonna look better. But overall, so let's talk about Tenet. So I'm going to talk about picture quality, I, and then I will talk about um, some of the things with the aspect ratio, and then we'll talk about audio, and we'll get out of here. So picture quality, yeah, it really does look good. Um, actually, we're just going to compare the um, combined aspect ratio talk, too. Overall, guys, the picture quality looks incredible. Uh, the color, the colors, the tints, everything that was chosen for this, it, it really does pop. The action sequences on watching it on my 4K TV really do look fucking incredible. This movie overall is really immersive for picture quality and what you're seeing on screen. I saw this film in theaters, not in IMAX, but in theaters. So when I was watching it, it felt like I was just in the fucking theater um overall guys it really does look fucking good if you guys haven't i would honestly if you guys were not interested in seeing tenet but you want a good 4k blu-ray this really is a good 4k blu-ray just to watch just to get a spectacle is it's that good of a film and i really think just watching it on screen it just really gets you it's okay if you don't care about the plot but you want to see action sequences and you want to see incredible picture quality, you need to buy this fucking film. It really does. It is worth it. But I care about plot and everything else. So, and I liked it a lot with the plot. Let's talk about sound mixing and audio quality. That's everybody's fear with buying this. And we're scared because we knew that it had problems in um, theaters. Now, I will admit in my theater, I don't know if, like, I was, I talked to a couple of my other buddies that saw this film, too, in theaters, and they said they had the same audio problem. I actually thought it was maybe just my theater, like, they someone messed up on the projection, like, the projector or something, but no, it, or, yeah, um, it's, it was an audio problem. Now, overall, getting it transferred to home video on 4K, I actually, except for the one scene, the Freeport scene, that, it, like, 
is so fucking loud that you can't understand what they're saying. And we knew that Nolan had problems with, like, the sound in the past, like, Interstellar, uh, maybe Inception and The Dark Knight Rises. He had problems with uh, the sound mixing and the, he basically preferred music over dialogue. Or, yeah, over dialogue. So, I don't know. He, he claims it's an artistic capability. But overall, watching this film... I have one problem, and it was the Freeport se uh, sequence. It was really the Freeport sequence that really bothered me. But overall, the rest I could understand, and I was used to. I actually have to say, I think Interstellar has more of a sound problem on 4K than Dun or uh, Tenet. So I actually think, watching this, I can actually understand it. And guys, if you do have problems with the audio, then just put on the subtitles. I mean, for me, I, I have... 5.1, I believe it's a 5.1 surround sound with a receiver, and they're all Samsung, and so is my TV. But overall, I could understand it. I don't have rear speakers set up. I might actually do that eventually, but maybe even today. But overall, it, it I could understand everything they were saying. It, a lot better than theaters. I'll say that right now. A lot better in theaters. But guys, let me know your thoughts below. Did you watch 10 on 4K? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, let me know your thoughts below. Subscribe for more. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. Thanks for watching, guys. I definitely agree that this is probably the top one. And I put it on my list, too. Um, top five out of my top five best Blu-rays of four, uh, 2020. This is definitely the best Blu-ray of 20 or 4K Blu-ray of 2020. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one.